<coughs> Alrighty. Today we're going to do a Samsung Galaxy S um, Epic. I think that's what it's called, Galaxy Epic. That's in perfectly good shape, um, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like to be taken apart. Okay? And I'm also going to walk you through some diagnosing steps. Uh, today so somebody comes in with uh, a phone that's like this and uh, something's wrong with it uh, the number one step to diagnosing it is a process of elimination figuring out what could and what could not be the problem for example uh, if they like plug the phone in and it's not charging um, then it's safe to assume that the screen has nothing to do with the problem so we begin to eliminate the things that it couldn't be until we narrow down the things that it could be for example a bad charging cord uh, a bad motherboard a bad battery uh, etc and then we test those three things until we find out what the culprit or culprits are or is so uh, let's begin with this one okay so perfectly normal uh, it, a Galaxy Epic from Sprint. We're gonna take it apart. So once again, we're gonna start by removing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws on the outside, and then one, two on the inside where the battery is. Okay, so let's go. And I know this button already fell out, but um, you're going to pry open the... And notice that even though the screws aren't completely out, as long as they're loosened, uh, you can remove uh, the back shell. I like to call it the back shell. Like this. Okay, I'm going to put that here. Okay. And this uh, is the head jack. But this one actually did have a head jack issue, and now we know why because it's supposed to be inside here, right? Connected to the motherboard with this flex, but it was disconnected like this, so that would explain why the head jack wasn't working this whole time. So this is the motherboard and we're going to go ahead and disconnect this flux cable which is the LCD. Let's disconnect that. We're going to disconnect that which I believe is the camera, front camera at least. And then we're going to disconnect this uh, antenna. Now we have the motherboard separate. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and reconnect via flex cable this head jack. Okay. There we go. That's how the older phones are. And there's the charging port. We can always do the uh, soldering on the charge port right there. Sorry, that's the back camera. And here's the uh, the, the chips, like the process. See a whole bunch of uh, <coughs> circuitry going on here. Uh, so we'll get to that in the later uh, part of this course, how to fix uh, or take care of the circuitry. We're going to be using multimeters and stuff like that, but right now just understand that this is where all this stuff happens. This is the brain. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two screws right here. And once again, this is what diagnosis is all about. Breaking it down until there's only the components left. So once you determine what the only possible issues could be with process of elimination like I explained, then the step two is you break it down by component and make sure everything is connected or is, 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 is 
proper. And if it's not, then you fix those components until you, you fi and you keep replacing the specific components until you figure out what the problem was. So that is basically uh, cell phone diagnosis in a nutshell. I'm going to remove this uh, antenna, which also connects it to the uh, loudspeaker, by the way. So if he can't hear his phone ring if it doesn't ring, if there's no loudspeaker, that's what needs to be changed. Keep in mind that even if all the physical aspects are right, there could be hardware or firmware issues. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, there could be firmware or software issues as well. A bad ROM, um, a virus, all these things can prevent issues as well. So you have to really use process elimination. What I like to do is make sure the software is correct first by reinstalling a ROM, uh, doing a master reset, and doing all those first to make sure it still doesn't work. And if it still doesn't work, whatever it is that's not working, then we can begin to take it apart physically. All right. So after we remove those two screws, we're going to take this uh, back piece off, which has connected to it a microphone, the slide-out keypad, which connects via a flex cable right here. I know I said that's the uh, might be a camera flex, but I was wrong. But it, it turns out to be the uh, keyboard flex right here. So if his keyboard isn't working, uh, which which looks like it's also connected to a either power button or uh, or a camera button, one of those right here. So I'm assuming it's going to be a power button. So any of those issues that I just mentioned, we obviously need to switch out this flex, which connects all here. So we're going to place that right here. And then finally, we are going to... Let's go move that keypad out for right here. Uh, we're going to remove four more screws. One, two, and then... Uh, three, four. So let's go ahead and do that to separate the LCD. Alrighty. <coughs> uh, so we removed the four screws and in order to do that I had to lift lift it up a little bit. It's very flexible, this piece of plastic. I, I really think if I push it hard enough I could get it completely open, but I'm not gonna try that. Um, so I had to remove this screw right here as well, and then these two screws. And the reason why we did that was because we wanted to separate the LCD and you can use a knife. These these older phones like before the Galaxy S3 uh, have pretty actually surprisingly strong um, housings. So as long as you don't cut a flex cable while you're opening it up, uh, you shouldn't have any any issues. Separate it completely. You have to open this up, and then get it right, just like that, and then it separates. Okay. So now you have the LCD. This and there's a whole bunch of flexes here. There's the front camera flex there earlier that I was talking about that I was mistaken about. That's the front camera, the proximity sensor flex. That's uh, the front speaker flex, and they all connect here to uh, like this mother flex right here that also connects to the LCD and the digitizer as well. LCD, digitizer, they all connect to here, and then that transfers over to the motherboard here, uh, which also is connectable via the uh, keypad at here as well. So it's a pretty complex phone. Um, but that's the disassembly of it, okay? And uh, that's, that's it.